Welcome to the last part of one fact about each country of the world. Today we're gonna do all countries in Asia and Oceania. But before we start, I actually missed two countries in my last video, which were Austria and Senegal. So we're gonna get started with them. Austria. The first zoo was created in Austria in Vienna in 1752. Also, Austria has the biggest chair in the world. And if you're from Austria, uh, what is the logic of this chair? Senegal. Senegal is home to a pink lake. It is 10 times saltier than the average ocean and comparable only to the Dead Sea. Now we're gonna move on to Asia. Turkey. Turkey is the country which consumes the most bread and tea per capita. It consumes 200 kilograms of bread and 1,300 cups of tea in a year. 96% of the population drinks at least one cup of tea per day. Dude, that's insane. Georgia. Okay guys, you spammed me this fact. Wine was created in Georgia. Yes, that is true. And from the bottom of my heart, thank you, Georgia. Also, the world's deepest cave is found in Georgia at 2,200 meters below sea level. I didn't know that. Armenia. Armenia is the first country to adopt Christianity as its official religion. And today, 97% of Armenians are Christians, ranked fourth in the whole world. Nice. Azerbaijan. Geographically, Azerbaijan and Georgia are transcontinental countries having a small portion of their territories in Europe. Russia. Russia is the largest country in the world. Its landmass covers 11% of the world's surface and it's bigger than the whole of Europe and roughly the same size as South America. 20% of the world's trees are in Russia. That's great. Syria. Syria is home to the world's oldest inhabited city, Aleppo. Human settlements have been found there dating back to 11,000 years before Jesus Christ. Here is the city on the map. Lebanon. Lebanon is the second unhappiest country in the world, even though it has the third highest number of public holidays. With 16 public days of holidays per year, only India and Colombia have 18 and surpass it. Israel. Israel is the only country to have revived a dead language and made it the national language. Israel is a pretty expensive country. In 2020, Tel Aviv was named the fifth most expensive city in the world to live in after Zurich, Paris and Hong Kong. Palestine. Half of the total Palestinian population are diaspora. Even though it is said that the population of Palestine is 5 million, in reality it's 10 million. The other 5 million are just refugees, so that's why. One of the most interesting facts about Jordan is that at 420 meters below sea level, yeah, the Dead Sea here is the lowest point on earth that you can actually go to, unlike the Mariana Trench. Bro, it's 420 meters deep. Iraq. Iraq is the birthplace of writing, which was around 5,000 years ago. Sadly, Iraq is the fifth least peaceful country and ninth most dangerous country in the world. Iran. Did you know that Iran is a cat-shaped country? Yeah, that's a fact for my comments. Did you know that the creator of eBay is from Iran? Well, now you certainly know some facts. Kuwait. Kuwait has the strongest currency in the world, the Kuwaitini Dinar. As said in one of my previous videos, one Kuwaitini Dinar is equal to $3.26. Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is by far the largest country without any river whatsoever. Saudi Arabia also has the largest airport, King Fahd Airport, that is 776 square kilometers. That's the land area of the next country, Bahrain. In fact, Bahrain is the fourth biggest consumer per capita of electricity in the world. A person consumes 145,000 kilowatts, and I did the math, and that's equal to $6,690. Nice. Qatar. Qatar has the best airline in the world, that is Qatar Airways. The country is also one of the few that don't have a forest, the other ones being San Marino, Monaco and Nauru, and hence is the biggest country without a forest. United Arab Emirates. It has the world's tallest building, the Burj Khalifa, that is 828 meters. UAE also has the only 7-star hotel in the world, the Burj Al Arab. A night here costs $1,500. That's the average salary in Egypt, Oman. Oman is the only country that starts with O. Oman is one of the safest countries in the world and for some reason they really like Mountain Dew even more than Coca-Cola, which is rare for a country. Yemen. Yemen is larger than Spain or Sweden and is roughly smaller than France. Yemen is also home to an unusual species of tree called the Dragon's Blood Tree and you've surely seen it somewhere. Kazakhstan. Spanning more than 7,644 kilometers, Kazakhstan 
Pakistan border with Russia is the second longest border after the Canada-United States border. Also, fun fact, that's the exact distance from Barcelona to Ulaanbaatar, the capital of Mongolia, Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan alongside Liechtenstein are the only doubly landlocked countries. Doubly landlocked means a country that is surrounded by another landlocked country. In this case, Uzbekistan is surrounded by Afghanistan, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan and Turkmenistan, all being landlocked. Landlocked means there is no access to the ocean. Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, Singapore, Mongolia and Japan are the only neutral countries in Asia. Turkmenistan was the third to do so in Asia in 1995. Afghanistan. Afghanistan is the best country to live in the world. It has the best democracy index, it is the happiest country in the world and the safest one. Ugh, oh, yeah. I hope that was true. Jokes aside, Afghanistan unfortunately is the most dangerous country in the world and the saddest country due to the events that happened in 2021. Pakistan. There's a small village called Sialkot in Pakistan that produces 50% of the world's football balls. I actually remember looking at various footballs and I was like, why isn't this made in China but made in Pakistan? So that's the reason. Pakistan is also the cheapest country to live in the world with a monthly cost of $294. That is very, very cheap. Nepal. Mount Everest, the world's tallest mountain, is located in Nepal. Also, did you realize that Nepal has the same shape as Portugal? Cool, right? Bhutan. Bhutan is the only carbon negative country in the world since it has 71% forest coverage. Also, it has an airport, Para Airport, where only eight trained pilots can land. It's so dangerous. India. India is the new most populated country with a population of 1.426 billion people. Now imagine everyone subscribed to me. Yeah, let's uh, just make that reality. India is the most vegetarian country in the world with 40% of its population and India has one of the lowest divorce rates with just 1%. Bangladesh. The South Asian country is very warm. So warm in fact that the lowest temperature ever recorded was just 2.6 degrees. Damn. There are what? approximately 700 rivers through Bangladesh and you can see the whole country by traveling by boat. That's cool. Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan is the most distant country from an ocean. The closest ocean is the Indian Ocean, which is at 2,607 kilometers. Tajikistan. 92% of Tajikistan is mountainous, making it the second most mountainous country in the world after Bhutan. You know cinnamon? Well, Sri Lanka produces 80% of the world's supplies of cinnamon. Also, Sri Lanka is the second biggest exporter of tea after China, so it's important for the tea industry. Uh, yeah, thank them, Turkish people. Maldives. Maldives has the world's lowest average ground level with an average elevation of just 1.5 meters. So this country is at great risk of disappearing because of the climate change. China. If you put all of China's railway lines, you can loop around the world two times. It is 155,000 kilometers long. Despite it being the third largest country, it only has one time zone. Mongolia. Mongolia's capital, Ulaanbaatar, is the coldest capital in the world. The average annual temperature is just 0.2 Celsius, pretty much freezing, even colder than Reykjavik, the capital of Iceland, which is much more north. North Korea. North Korea is um, the most isolated country in the world, and news rarely spread outside of the country, and uh, please don't go there, thank you. South Korea. Unlike other countries in the world, in South Korea, when a baby is born, they are classed as being one years old, so there is no zero years old in South Korea. Also, nearly 20% of the population have the surname Kim, which is equal to nearly 10 million people. Japan. Japan has the world's second longest life expectancy with an average of 84.95 years. In Japan, there is one vending machine for every 24 people. So that means there are 5 million vending machines. Wow. Philippines. There are 7,600 islands in the Philippines. It also has three of Asia's largest malls. SM North Edsa with an area of 0.5 km square, SM Mega Mall and SM Mall of Asia. The North Edsa Mall is larger than Vatican City. 
Indonesia. Indonesia is the country of the most active volcanoes. Also, Indonesia has the most populated island, the Java Island, with a population bigger than Russia's, which is 123 times bigger than it. That's insane. Malaysia. Malaysia is home to the largest flower in the world, Rafflesia. It weighs 10 kilos and is 1 meter in diameter. Brunei. Brunei has the second highest human development index in Southeast Asia after Singapore, so it's kinda underrated, but it's an absolute monarchy, so keep that in mind. Singapore. Singaporeans are the fastest pedestrians in the world, walking at a speed at about 6.15 km per hour. So if you like speed, just go to Singapore, Myanmar. Myanmar has the highest smoking rates in Asia, with 45.5% of its population smoking. Only Nauru, Kiribati and Tuvalu barely overtake it. It is also one of the few countries that has a plus 30 minutes to its time zone. Thailand. Thailand is the second largest exporter of rice and let's just say Thailand has a lot of weird laws, such as not being allowed to step on the currency or leaving your house without underwear. Bro, how are they gonna check that? Laos. The country has the world's tallest treehouse, the Gibbon Experience Treehouse, standing at 30 meters high. And it looks like this, and to be honest, I kind of want to go there. Vietnam. This country is the least obese country in the world. Only 2.1% of its population is obese. Also, Vietnam has the world's largest cave, which is the Song Dung Cave, in which a plane could fit in. Cambodia. Did you know Cambodians celebrate New Year's in April? Yeah, they just celebrated one month ago. Cambodia is also a huge country that doesn't have a single McDonald's. Bruh. Taiwan. Taiwanese students spend more hours at school than any others in the world, with an average of 9.5 hours at school. That's roughly the same time as the longest recorded rainbow, which also happened in Taiwan and it was for 9 hours. East Timor. Approximately 40% of the population is below the age of 15, and 60% is under the age of 25. The country's median age is just 19.6 years old, which is very low for a country in Asia. Now we're gonna move on to Oceania. Let's go. Papua New Guinea. This country has the most languages in the world, with over 850 languages. Solomon Islands. The island's official language is English. However, only 1% of the population are able to speak this language fluently. I am sorry. I am sorry, I don't speak English. Very good. I am speaking English 50-50. Micronesia. Micronesia is home to the world's largest crabs, which have a leg span of three feet and can destroy coconuts in one hit. Bro, these countries are so underrated. Fiji. Fiji is home to around 800 species of plants found nowhere else on Earth. The most unique of which is Tejimusia, which is visible here. Vanuatu. Vanuatu is the country most at risk of experiencing natural disasters. This is because it is located in the Pacific Ring of Fire, which can bring hazards like earthquakes and later on tsunami. Also, bungee jumping was invented in Vanuatu. Tuvalu. Initially, Tuvalu could not join the United Nations because it couldn't afford the entrance fee. When the internet domain names were first assigned to countries, Tuvalu received the abbreviation of TV and they used the profits to install electricity, create scholarships and join the United Nations. And that's how Tuvalu is a country right now. Wow, that's insane. Samoa. Did you know that the rock's mother was from Samoa? <laughs> yeah, uh, also the word tattoo comes from Samoa. So thanks Samoa. Tonga. Tonga alongside Samoa and Kiribati are the countries which celebrate New Year's the fastest. This is because their time zone is GMT plus 13. Nauru. Nauru is the most obese country in the world. It is also the country which smokes the most and is the least visited country in the world with only 200 tourists per year. Marshall Islands. The Marshall Islands are a serious threat of a rising sea level. The entire population living there will soon be forced to leave their homes. This is because it is the third lowest country in the world with an average elevation of just 2 meters. Palau. The country has the world's largest percentage of its territory protected with over 80% New Zealand. New Zealand is well known for its sheep. There are more sheep than people in New Zealand. In fact, for every person living in New Zealand, there are at least 10 sheep. And finally, the last country out of all 197 countries, Australia. Did you know that the Australian Alps get more snow than the Swiss Alps? Well, yeah. Once a man in Australia tried to sell New Zealand 
eBay in 2006 for $3.5 million, but it was taken down by eBay. And with that, this series came to an end. Thank you guys for watching this video and let me know what videos should I do next because I pretty much have no ideas. And remember to subscribe, like and comment. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.